The Japanese government now says two reactors are in partial meltdown and four more are at, are at risk. They're warning that another explosion similar to the one we saw yesterday could be imminent. They say they're doing everything they ta- can to contain the damage before any radiation is released. But 170,000 people have been evacuated from those areas around the facilities. Now, I want to say the word meltdown is being used a lot these days. It is a loaded and scary term, so we want to be absolutely clear about what it actually means. Ron Claiborne is here with a quick explanation of what exactly happens when a nuclear reactor melts down. Ron? All right, Dan, let's start with a simple graphic of a nuclear reactor. Now, normally, the uranium core, the potentially dangerous part of the plant, is immersed in a coolant. That is usually water. That coolant is constantly being pumped in and out to keep the core cool. When the earthquake struck in Japan, those pumps went down. The uranium core then had nothing to keep it cool, so it began heating up, boiling off that water. And if that water eventually boils away, it exposes the core, and that's when the real trouble starts once the temperature inside reaches 5,000 degrees, that's when you begin to have the meltdown. And if the unstable uranium is disturbed in any way, it explodes, bursting through the vessel that contains it, releasing dangerous radioactive particles into the air, and that is the worst case scenario there that many fear could happen in Japan.